I'm Shigeo Ijuin. I am a torture sommelier. It was my job to serve true justice to those who deserved it. In today's society, there are rules that everyone must follow. Hey, you can't take out the trash until Wednesday! How many times do I have to tell you? Sorry... There were all kinds of laws in our society. Laws were necessary to maintain order. This is your fault! And if you break the law, you're under arrest for murder! We got you now, asshole! Let me go! You were punished, but the law wasn't perfect. Due to the extenuating circumstances, I hereby sentence the defendant to five years of probation. Probation? No way! <laughs> Thanks for hiring the best lawyer in town, Dad! Sometimes guys like him slip through the cracks of justice. But that's where I come in. Excuse me. Huh? Hey there, got your eyes. Ah! You may be able to buy your freedom with money and power, but you can't get away from me. It was my job to serve true justice. Ah! Now you know how it feels to drown to death. See you in hell, buddy. Here's the next tank. It was my job as a torture sommelier to set things right. Today, I was meeting with a new client. So, tell me what happened. Okay. It was a middle-aged man. He was really skinny. He looked like an empty shell of a man. But... These delinquents beat my son to death. I want them to pay. There was something about the look in his eyes. He wanted vengeance. Two years ago, he had a son. Going to dance practice again? Yeah, the tournament's in two weeks! He was 17 at the time. He was training to be a sushi chef just like his dad. He was in the dance club at school. Him and his friends practiced at mall parking lot. Nice, that was good! Yeah, nice man! They danced in front of the big window which acted as a big mirror. But then, they showed up. Huh? What do you want? They had metal pipes and wooden swords. They were out for blood. Get up! Every single one of them! They came charging at them. My client's son tried to make a run for it. RUN! He had no idea why they were after him, but he knew he was in danger. You okay? But then, one of his friends fell. He tackled one of the delinquents to save him. RUN! NOW! What the? Thank you! He sacrificed himself to save his friends, but it came with a price. You little shit! Ah! Get the car! Now! They grabbed him and took him away in their car. They took him out of the city and continued to beat him down. You little shit! Ah! They beat him with baseball bats and slammed his face into the ground. They burned him with lighters. Stop! Please! Oh no! You're going bald! Take that! <laughs> ah! And they burned him multiple times with cigarettes. Then they used pliers to pull out his teeth. Ah! Oh no! You look like an old man now! They pulled out more than half of his teeth. Then they threw out his body in front of a hospital and drove off. What the? He's dead! The next morning, a taxi driver found his body. It was too late. My client got a call from the police a few hours later. He went down to the morgue to check the body, but... Is that him? I can't tell. He was beat up pretty bad. He couldn't even recognize him. A few days later, the police started making arrest. You think you can get away with this? Think again! Let me go, asshole! Everyone that was involved got arrested in a matter of a few weeks. Then my client found out the shocking truth. So you thought the victim was someone else? Yes! What? They were after a member of a rival gang. It was all a big misunderstanding. The underage members got sent to juvie. The others got sent to prison. The wrong person? Are you kidding me? My client started looking into the case himself. He closed his restaurant and started digging. They took the fall for him? Yes, the guy responsible for your son's death. He's still out there. He paid those guys to take the fall for him. The guy was still out there. They're like the Yakuza. Sometimes the lower ranking members take the fall for their superiors. So this guy killed my son 
and he gets nothing? My client was furious. He was ready to get the guy responsible himself, but then... Hold on. He's well protected. You'll get killed. But then... What am I supposed to do? I know this guy. He'll set things straight. So you came to me. Yes. Good thing he didn't go there himself. Then he got down on the floor and said, Please, sir. I want this guy dead. He can't get away with this. He needs to suffer. He wanted vengeance. He wanted blood. I can only imagine what he's going through. Sir, get up. You got nothing to worry about. I got you. Uh, thank you. It was time for the torture sommelier to step in. Killing the innocent for no reason, and paying others to take the fall. I'm coming for you, asshole. You're finished. Time to get to work. Let's do this. My client had already done most of the research for us. Look at this. This is impressive. Yeah, he did most of the work for us. A few days later, we captured our target. Who the hell are you? I'm the Grim Reaper. Time to die, asshole. We caught him coming out of his girlfriend's house. Piece of cake. We brought him back to our torture chamber and threw him up on the torture gear. Ah! Ouch! Good morning. He started screaming in pain as soon as he woke up. Get me off! You know who I am? You're with the Dainichi family, right? Yeah! You know you're not getting away with this, right? Rukawa the Bat. Right here, sir. Shut the hell up, maggot! Ah! Ah, oh, look here. What happened to your teeth? <laughs> I broke all his teeth. Man, that felt good. So, you killed an innocent kid. And then you made someone else take the fall for it. Do you feel any remorse? Huh? Huh? The look on his face started to change. Look, it was just a big misunderstanding, okay? That kid. I feel sorry for him, but he just got unlucky. You feel me? Was he being serious right now? Rukawa, let's begin. I've heard enough. Yes, sir. Rukawa took out some shackles with weights on them. We strapped his feet to them and let him go. Ah! Ah! He screamed in pain. This was a torture method known as the Spanish Donkey. It was invented in medieval Europe. How dare you go up against the army! I'm sorry! Ah! They used it all the time to punish people. The victims felt a lot of pain. There were a lot of nerves around the crotch. No more! Please! That's what you get for running away from the army! Even when the victim survived, the pain lasted for days. The spikes on the chair ripped the skin, making the victim lose a lot of blood. Let me go! Please! Come on now, you've got this. Hang in there! Then, as the weights on his feet dragged him down... His sacrum bone broke. The amount of pain was unimaginable. Now for the finishing touch. Ha! Ah! We broke his knee so he can no longer keep himself up. Time to die, buddy! Oh, I almost forgot. This is what you get for killing that poor kid. Shinji Yamashita. What? Who's that? Huh? You're Noda, right? You ran over that kid and paid someone else to take the fall for you. What? No! That wasn't me! I mean, I paid someone to take the fall for me, but I never ran anyone over! I wasn't a good actor, but he bought it. Then Rukawa joined in. Sir, he's telling the truth. I think we got the wrong guy. See? See? Please, let me go! Ouch! What? He's not our guy. Uh, oh well, there's no going back now. What? What? You said it yourself. It was just a big misunderstanding. Sorry, buddy. What? No. No! Go to hell, asshole. A few hours later, he drew his last breath. 
Wow, it went all the way up to his stomach. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. I think we put a little too much weight on him. Oh well. After that, I called the client and told him it was done. Poor oh, kid, rest in peace. What I did wasn't pretty, but if it helps my clients move on with their lives, so be it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And please subscribe to the channel.